still walking through Navarra and just down there there's a vineyard at that autumnal time of year just a few remaining leaves red, scarlet gold and yellow but otherwise the vines are bare and for the last few days I've seen the, uh, the farmers out and uh, some workers in the field trimming back the vines, cutting them back, preparing for next year's harvest. And uh, the other evening, uh, four of us had a meal together, me and uh, three other pilgrims plodding this route at this autumnal time of year, mid-November. And uh, the bottle of wine that was on the table was very young, 2010. So uh, you could tell it was a it was a young wine. It la lacked a bit of uh, depth, but uh, pretty quick from the uh, from the vine to the bottle. That uh, that was good. A chap called uh, Gabriel from Menorca, a chap called Bela from Hungary, and a chap called Carl from Essex. Like my good self, except he was walking the other direction. So uh, we had a bit of a chat and a coffee together the following morning. And uh, he'd been living in uh, Canterbury uh, for the last few years, working there. Of course, I passed through Canterbury on this route. So it turns out we, uh, I'd met several people that he, he knew and knew of. So it was kind of uh, just interesting piecing the jigsaw together. This is the route that we follow today. I've come from Estella or Estella and I've just been up in a little mountain village called Monjadin where there's an ancient castle right on the peak of the hill and the village is just a little bit lower than that but still set in these uh, hills here. Uh, I don't know, I'm guessing that Monjadin means uh, garden mountain. Uh, if jardin is anything like uh, jardin in French, which means garden, and if so, it's extremely accurate because I've walked past so many beautifully maintained allotments and just little uh, areas of cultivated land. Some of them look private, some of them are larger areas, and then of course you've got all these vineyards and the soil just looks so rich and uh, the, the produce that's uh, coming out of the ground. Looks absolutely magnificent. So, there we go. A little stroll through Navarra. Navarra. On our way to, uh, I think I'm gonna try and get to Torres del Rio. So that's nearly 30 kilometers today. Perhaps about, well, 29. So I've gotta go through a little place called Los Arcos and then get to uh, Torres del Rio. I've got to attempt to get to Burgos in four days' time, uh, which could be a bit of an ask, but uh, it's going to mean putting in 35 kilometer plus days for four days in a row. But we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Try and get there in time to meet Sandy and Kath, who are very kindly flying over to Bilbao and then getting a bus down to Burgos to uh, be some company for a night or so. so. That should be great, looking forward to that. Brilliant. There we go, that's our onward route. And that, there's a view behind.